Hello everyone and welcome to the second episode of the Veritas et Fortitudo mod uh, and we are showing off England here. Now we have just peaced out with Scotland and I'm sending my ships back. Now let's look a bit at our diplomatic situation. Uh, Dauphin, no I do not want to ally with you, I want to ally with Castile. And they have already rivaled me, how lovely. But we can improve our relations with them. Hopefully we can get something going there. Because I am going to need them for the uh, my expansion plans further on. Uh, and we are going to start fabricating some claims here over at Ireland. First of all, uh, let's set up rivals. And yeah, I know, I know, I'm not picking France at the moment, but uh, I really want to start gobbling up the Irish miners. And yeah, some very nice uh, movement bars over here over the sea. I believe these were mainly put here because the English AI is so bloody stupid that it can't send troops across. Uh, the water when it starts an attack. So yeah, that's probably why these are here. Now let's see, we have a decent amount of income. So, ooh, excuse me. Uh, some national tax modifiers. Uh, prestige decay is okay. And uh, I don't need any missionaries right now, but tech cost goes down is very handy. And we need more money. Which will probably be morale. And our king is here. Now these guys usually don't ally very fast. So I need my claims here. Oh yes, we only have one diplomat. Yeah, that's going to be okay. Oh yeah, my bad. Uh, game options, audio, sound. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is too loud, I'm going to lower it a little bit soon, but this is the first of many uh, decisions, or pop-ups, where you get, uh, where you can get aristocratic power plus 5 here, and you get a bunch of bad modifiers as well, or the aristocrats get a bit more pissed at you, or you can just sell it with cash, which we do not have right now. Or just take us the here. But we're gonna side with the merchants. Uh, my personal gameplay is that as soon as I see a minus aristocratic power, I take it. Because I want them to have as low possible as I can get it. Uh, I do believe that will help me in the long run. Now, these are going to start trading. Way too loud, way too loud. Sorry, sorry. That should be better. A uh, small revolt. Yes, we're, we're lacking a little bit in power points right now. And with our king, you can probably guess why. More speed. And meanwhile, we can take a look at the trade zones, which are changed quite a bit. Um, Bordeaux has basically the coastal frontier now. Paris has its own node. Uh, let's see. And London is now an end node, just as Antwerp. And Paris has to take all of its uh, income in from Bordeaux. 
let's see, do we have anything other new over here? There are, I think, one or two new nodes down here. I think this is, uh, the, these are new. One of these are new. Yes, new. And possibly Barcelona as well. But we are trying to get... Oh yes, my bad. I should not have sent these ships to patrol London, they need to patrol Bordeaux so we can steal some more income from France by pushing it up here. That's worth a lot more, thank you. And they come back where they belong. Our manpower is recovering, good. Oh yes, here we have two. Uh, some of the leading aristocrats of England have offered their services in the army. I can get 10 of the tradition and these bonuses. Or I can piss it off again. Now, I did say I never take this one, but um, this is actually, sh actually such a good one. And we get the backlash that uh, later on, that when they have actually served in the military, the aristocrats want some sort of uh, compensation, and that's when I say no. Getting t 10 army tradition is just powerful. And yes, we are in the Hansa, which means that the Hansa will occasionally offer us contours. Uh, we have to invest uh, 77 ducats, which is a lot of money. Um, some admin and uh, mercantilism, but uh, we do get a Hansa contour in Labor. Which I actually don't want it there. That's the last place that I want a contour in. Uh, so we must decline. Uh, that didn't say what it has said before which is that the Hansa will not give us another contour for quite a while. So hopefully they will be offering that balance to that to us again, when we have a better money pool, and they actually offer us in England. Because those contours uh, increase production and uh, production ability, production income quite a lot where they are. So. You really wanted to check where they actually offer you. Here we're producing 1.89, not that good. Cornwall 4.7, yes please. Uh, let's see, yeah, timber not much, hemp not much, fish a bit, wool not much, lead yes. So, preferably, I want these in Northumberland or Cornwall just to get the extra lead production, which will be a significant economic boost to us. Uh, and to point out already, when you leave the Hansa, the Hanseatic League, so to speak, uh, the Hansa is this nation here with these three ports. Uh, when you leave them, you lose all contours right away. So they are a hefty investment, and if you're going for some, you better stay there for a while. Uh, let's see here. We are yes, we are fabricating a claim and uh, getting Castile on our good side. I do believe that because we have these provinces, they don't like us very much. But yeah, hostile relations. Scotland declare war on Norway. Perfect. They can take that one. And no Utrecht. I do not want an alliance with you, minor. Now the HRE is a little bit different. There are quite a bit of different. Uh, Positions here. Flanders wants. Uh, let's see. Of course. Who are you at war with? Mm, not a single naval nation. Sure, I accept. No, I don't want that one. 
uh, yes, the HRE. And the biggest change is that they start off with Luxembourg as the Emperor. So yeah, France can basically pace roll them if they have the troops for it. France has most of these as vassals already. Uh, not uh, Mallorca, which is a vassal of uh, Aragon. But uh, Armagnac is a vassal. Armagnac is a vassal. Urban is a vassal. Yeah, Bergen. Yeah, these are all vassals, including Burgundy, which is a minor. But they are trying to get independent, which they usually fail at badly. And we got our conquest. And uh, you may also see that now that we are at war, we get an extra diplomat. Uh, just during the war, so be careful what you actually do with your diplomats during the war, because you're gonna lose it once the war's over. But uh, they have not allied with anyone, so declare war. Hmm. This is actually a better one. No, well, oh, yeah, yeah. It is a better one because it's le less aggressive expansion. Uh, declare war. Crush that one. And you couldn't even kill the king. Drop two sieges. And start our next vacation. There and one. There. Yeah. Oh, come on, labor. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I need my navy back. There it is. Fabricating. Oh yeah, this is a a bit more elaborate uh, text rather than the vanilla. So a thousand vampire and admin points, or a lot more admin points. We actually we are we are we are. And recovering manpower, so we do actually need the admin power a lot more. Uh, yes, uh, one thing I can say that against this mod is that everything is damn slow in this mod. What? Mine depleted. That's bad. That's really, really bad. We really needed that to lead. This is going to screw us over in the long run. Well, if it gets gold, fine, but uh, <laughs> probably any other resources gold should be crap to have here. Send down those troops to Gascony. Yeah. Train lead. And kill. And preferably kill my king while they're at it. Cool. Yeah, it's actually quite decent trade off. Back. So, Ally, how are you doing? Good, good. Let's check in. Now, uh, for this for this peace offer that I'm going to offer these Irish nobles, our full annexation 
right off the bat. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is that uh, vassals are working very differently in this mod rather than they are doing in the main game. Uh, a vassal cannot be annexed at all until you have had them for quite a while. And that quite a while can be up to 50 years. Yes, a vassal will take uh, about as long as a personal union to integrate and uh, they also need your babysitting because uh, you need to protect them, you need to uh, you get events for protecting them and so forth. You can also set your own person, personal government there. Uh, let's see. Leave. I'll just set you back. We can't afford to lose any diplo points right now, not when we're going to annex a lot of people. And we got our double causes building on these guys. I'm going to fabricate another claim on them. Now, what is our aggressive expansion? 16. 6. Yeah, okay. Yeah, here we now have an option to leave the Hansa Hattic League. It uh, does give us a few benefits in the short run, but, uh, well, in the benefits we actually lose quite a bit for, lo for leaving them. But uh, we can stay there for now. Uh, it's not that bad. Yeah, let's start. Okay, merchants again. That pop-up is going to come up very frequently. And Scotland is losing to Norway. Hooray. Let's see here, what other wars are going on here? A few. There's no Kalma Union yet, so uh, the Scandinavians are divided. But Sweden usually allies with others, and uh, Denmark allies with Norway. Yeah. Just like it's used. Ah, a bit of sissy drink. How are these sieges going? Look at you up there, one false, and hopefully this will come out soon. Now, have you allied yet? No, good. You go back there. Merge them. Full annexation will cost us. Some aggressive expansion, but barely none towards the rest of Europe. It's Scotland that will mostly be pissed. And we annex them. Thank you. Now, uh, since I don't want any of these as a vassal, because it takes so long to integrate them, and the base tax is so low here, I can make this course cheap. Very, very cheap. First of all, let's. Yep. Yeah. Cool. There. Uh, harsh treatment. Cool. Harsh treatment. And do we have a. Nope. Didn't have that one. One morale of armies. We are still earning money. Good. Now it is time for to take. Go crush that army. Thank you. Now we are going to do something different here. We're going to drop one unit only. It will not be enough to siege. Same here, drop one unit, go, drop one unit, declare war. Now 
because the last thing I want these guys to do is to ally with Scotland. Which is which was what he was trying to do. The reason I didn't I can't attack him yet is because I need to produce a claim on him first. Now, siege. Siege. You go there. And we are sieging everything. Good. So yeah, for the long run, um, you can't go exploring early. They modded that out. Uh, you have to wait for a while, I think. Yeah, take 14. Take 14 admin and diplo before you can actually go exploring. For the world, Apart from Portugal, that gets it on tech 9, and DAP, which is a small island nation in uh, the north of New Zealand and Australia, well, north of Indonesia. They get it at zero, so they can start off instantly, but they are a one island nation. So, for the coming episodes, I am going to mainly focus on regaining Scotland. Uh, the problem is that they, of course, ally France, which I really don't like. So I mainly need to ally with Castile. He will have Vassal as Navarra shortly. Oh wait, it is an appeal under France. Yeah, that's right. Uh, then it doesn't matter. He will still go through. So ally Castile, ally Portugal. Probably ally Aragon, I'm not sure I can. And uh, then basically insult and piss off uh, Scotland as much as I can. Having a small army, just basically inviting him to attack me. Instead of me attacking him. Because if he attacks me, he doesn't always get France with him. Uh, the other thing I can do is ally one of France's allies when they get more than just Scotland. Uh, because then I can actually accept if that country goes to war and I get called in with France, then I can actually attack Scotland and France can't do anything uh, to stop it because we're allied at war. Uh, sieges are ticking along nicely. Uh, I'm not going to make them go fast, I'm going to send this guy back to Bordeaux. Hmm, let's see, how is Bordeaux doing? Yeah, I can steal a lot more from that. And as you can see, there's only three ships, ship types available. Build some of these, please. There, that, sh that should do it. And we got conquest on them now. Good. No ally yet. Yeah, once these sieges start to finish up, we're going to go down and kick his butt as well. <laughs> yeah, I think I have to lose the prestige. I don't want to take a look. It's not right now. Are there any more mechanics that I can show you guys right now? Oh yeah, I can show you the building system. Uh, buildings are built the same way, uh, but every single building is now vastly different. And yeah, I chose an Oxford because yeah, it it has a college. But uh, yeah, 
these and these. But uh, the the fort is maybe the most normal one. The others are completely different. Uh, sheriff's office is something I usually rush to because having less revolt risk from a building is really good. Now, you may also notice that each of these buildings do not cost any power points. No admin points, no diplo points, no military points. It's zero. Uh, in fact, none of them do. Uh, they do cost some money. Uh, 200 for the most expensive one. Uh, that will be, of, of course, increased by inflation. And I think that these buildings, yeah, these are mostly the same as in the Nula game. Yeah, they are. So let's keep, keep on going. I, I actually think that this is a good time to take a break, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!